Hey guys, it's me, Tiara, Pink T. Rose. I'm back with another pregnancy vlog. Um, this is my sixth pregnancy vlog, and I just had an appointment on Monday the 12th um, of January. So, yeah, I just was had a regular um, prenatal appointment, and I just wanted to tell you all what's been going on. I am currently 29 weeks. I turned 30 weeks on Friday. Wow. And it feels like this pregnancy is really starting to go by really, really fast. And I'm excited, but yeah, I'm very excited. I, I still can't wait. Um, so I'm just going to jump right into this video and give you guys an update on myself and baby Taylor. So as of today, I just said I'm 29 weeks. I've been pregnant for 207 days and I am in the third trimester. So I'm 29 weeks and four days pregnant. Um... I have 10 weeks and 3 days left according to my app. Um, as of today, the baby is the size of a winter squash. If you guys don't know what that is, because if someone just said it to me, I wouldn't picture it. I'm going to put a picture here. <laughs> the baby weighs approximately 2.5 to 3.8 pounds and in length. She is 15 to 17 inches from crown to heel. So she's growing pretty rapidly. And that will actually be the same until I'm 32 weeks. Um, as I stated in the last video, I'm starting to go to my appointments every two weeks. Um, and because I got switched to another doctor again, I went ahead and asked the receptionist to go ahead and schedule me out to the end of my pregnancy. And thankfully, she allowed me to go ahead and do that. So I should be seeing the same doctor um, for the remainder of my pregnancy, thank God. And, um, yeah, so my next appointment is January 22nd. Um, yeah, and I'll be 31, I think 32 weeks then. Maybe it's not the 22nd. I don't know. I'll put the correction in the video if it's not the 22nd. So, um, okay. I am currently 29 weeks. At 27 weeks, I got the worst Charlie horse in my sleep. Like I just, I was asleep and I think I tried to stretch. And when I stretched it, my leg, it just started hurting so bad. She's moving so much. I guess she hears me talking. <laughs> um, so I stretched out and yeah, my leg just started hurting so bad. I tried to get up. I couldn't even get up. So I just had to wait for the pain to go away. And once it went away, I um, got up. And actually went to the restroom. So that happened once. It didn't. It hasn't happened again since. So I hope that that's the only time I'm going to experience that. I talked to my doctor about that. And she said to try drinking Gatorade and seltzer water to help with that. And she said that if I, that does continue to occur, I can also take a muscle relaxant um, to help deal with that. But I doubt I'll ever take a muscle relaxant for that because it's not like it's happening nightly or multiple times a day. So I don't feel the need to really take any medication for it. Um, so that is that. I've also been having really bad back pain on my left side. And it's not lower back pain. It's actually like upper, like behind my shoulder blades kind of and in the middle of my back. And it starts on the left side and it kind of radiates to the middle of my back. But every night when I lay down to go to sleep at night, it goes away. And then when I wake up again, and if I sit up for too long um, with poor posture or without support behind my back, my back starts to hurt. So what I did last week, I took a pillow, like a little throw pillow to my job, and I put it behind my back. And since I've done that, my back has not been hurting anymore. So um, thank God that's over with for now. Um, I still also have been having a little bit of side pain, but it hasn't been as severe as it was um, like when I was six months pregnant and before. So that hasn't been bad. She, The doctor said that she believes that it's, what did she say? She believes that it's related to the muscles and the tissues in my back. Um, she said because something with the hormones is, that are in the placenta or something like that, are related to the hormones and muscles um 
sure she can explain it better or any doctor so if you if you're a nurse or doctor and you feel like you can explain it better please do so in the comments below um headaches i've been having more headaches lately i've had about between three to four headaches a week um not this week but like last week and the week before my head like my head was hurting so often i just didn't understand why um so what I've been doing, I haven't taken any medicine for it. I've just been drinking water and trying to, you know, stay hydrated. And I'll go lay down and the headaches will go away. Yeah. So I just try and deal with it that way. Um, my husband pointed out that he's noticing that I'm starting to need more help getting up. Um, I Guys, it is hard for me to roll over in my sleep now. And it's hard for me to get up from the couch sometimes. Um, so I have been asking or calling on him to help pull me up sometimes and I feel so fat doing that. So yeah, that's funny to me. But when I went to the doctor to like, I took my shoes off to weigh in at the doctor and the nurse was like, um, well, at least she doesn't need help taking her shoes off. Um, I can't take my shoes off by myself without sitting on the bed. So um, I'm still, you know, a little active. <laughs> um, the baby's heartbeat was in the 150s and I have gained two pounds since my last video. So it's been two weeks, so that's about right, a pound a week. Um, and yeah, she measured my stomach again this week. She said that I'm still measuring at 28 um, which is right on point for, I guess, the week that I'm at. So, yeah. I still haven't really had any cravings. But I have been eating, like, I had trick cereal last week. And I have not had trick cereal and I don't know how long. So, I'm thinking that that is, like, related to my pregnancy. Um, and then today I just bought, what is it, Captain Crunch berries. Um, just with the berries in there. So, I've been into fruity cereals lately, so, and I usually eat Frosted Flakes, like, all day, every day. I also asked my doctor about raising my hands above my head, and she said that that is a myth. She said it's not true, it's just an old wise tale. Um, people do yoga all the time, and she actually asked me if I did yoga, and that's what made me ask her about lifting my hands up above my head. Um, so yeah, she said that that is not going to harm the baby. Um, she did tell me not to twist like if I'm picking something up, not to lean over to the side. She said to make to make sure that my hips are always square with my upper body. I don't know if they can harm the baby with me um, picking things up. Or she may have been relating that to my back pain. Um, so, yeah, it's okay to lift my hands above my head. But I probably still won't do that um, because... I just don't want anything to go wrong. So better safe than sorry. I'll if I'm at home by myself and I need something, I'll do it. I'm not gonna reach, you know, reach like five feet above my head or anything. Um, or stretch too far above my head. When CJ is home, of course I'll ask him for his help. So yeah, just wanted to give you all an update on that as well. And that is pretty much it for this update, guys. Um, because my appointments are so you know close together now I probably won't have that much information so yeah um, if you have any questions for me please leave those in the comment section below I'm gonna show you guys a belly shot and yeah stay tuned for my next video um, it should be coming up right after my next appointment thanks for watching guys bye Show me a few things, baby show me